And joining me now, my first guest is the former Chief Minister of Jammu and Kashmir, Omar Abdullah, joins us. Omar Abdullah, we have once again seen terror attacks taking place uh, that have, in a way, once again shown that park-based terror, the machine is still there. What, according to you, is the way forward? This, you know, every time we think that the terror machine has been conquered, it rears its ugly face again. I don't know why uh, you've been led to believe that the terror machine has been conquered. It hasn't. Uh, th attacks in Jammu and Kashmir, whether directed against the security forces or directed against minority uh, populations or even uh, members of the, the majority population in JNK, have continued all through. Uh, it's only the propaganda uh, of the central government, uh, mm -hmm. ably assisted by uh, the same propaganda machinery in Jammu and Kashmir uh, that has tried to sell you a different story. Otherwise, please tell me, uh, what period of time has there been since 2019 when you haven't seen uh, attacks of this nature? In fact, I'll, I'll go further and say mm -hmm. that even those areas uh, which uh, prior to 2017-18 had been cleared of militancy, and I'm particularly referring to uh, the hill areas of Jammu, Mm -hmm. uh, Rajori Punch area, uh, you've seen uh, uh, fairly uh, sort of uh, serious militant uh, engagement uh, in those areas as well. So this terror machinery hadn't been conquered. This was simply propaganda that had been sold to you that, uh, 2000, that uh, 370 was the root cause of terror. And if 370 was eradicated, terror would go away. It's not going to happen. Uh, but, sir, 370 uh, but, was no, not no, but, the cause the... of terror. And what they did on the 5th August, mm -hmm. yeah. No, no, but, but the fact, Omar Abdullah, I'm just looking at numbers. The Jammu and Kashmir Director General of Police, DGP Dilbag Singh, says in April 2023, number of militants now are, are at an all-time low in Jammu and Kashmir in recent years. They give figures about terror attacks before Article 370 abrogation was 763 that came down in the last couple of years to 519. They're not over, but according to the government, they've come substantially down. They're in a better position today than they were a couple of years ago. The fact is, as I said... The Rajdeep. terror machine has never been fully conquered. Please, please, Rajdeep, one sec. No, exactly, but uh, every year you've had numbers come down. When I was chief minister, I distinctly remember that every year the number of militant attacks or terror attacks during the six years that I was chief minister showed a declining trend. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the same is true for the year or so, or the a couple of years that the PDP and the BJP were together in Jammu and Kashmir. This declining trend of militancy is not a product of Article 370's removal. It has been a continuous feature of Jammu and Kashmir for the last, I would hazard, 15, 20 years. Mm -hmm. So this selective use of data by the DGP to explain a, a, a a miraculous improvement in the situation is simply that it's fudging numbers now the fact that you lost three senior uniformed uh, personnel in, in in the in the attack or in the encounter uh, yesterday in kokarnag a mm -hmm. colonel do you remember when the last time was that we lost a colonel of the indian army in in a militant encounter i think it, it was easily about three or four years ago along with a major and a DYSP of the police in the same encounter. I don't remember an encounter in which we lost such senior personnel uh, in, in one particular uh, incident. So, uh, I mean, things, if anything, are, are showing a, a worsening trend, not an improving trend. Yes, the number of incidents may be less, mm -hmm. but the severity of the incidents are more. No, you, had, you had an incident in mm -hmm. Rajori a few months ago in which an army truck was attacked, and you lost, I think, if I'm not mistaken, seven personnel? 